You got some explaining to do, Tiger. Trained from childhood as an Atlas assassin, with over a thousand successful jobs to your name. Damn near killed my two best men before they brought you in. She said we're her best men. That makes me feel good. Ow. Here's how it is, Athena. I'm gonna ask you a single question. And if I don't like your answer, you will die. Aim at the prisoner. Now, I will ask you this only once. Why? That is a long story. After the fall of General Knox, I wandered Pandora as a hired gun. One day, I received a job offer from a low-level Hyperion programmer. Come to the moon, it said. Hunt a vault, be a hero. I didn't trust Hyperion, but I was too hungry to pass up a paying job. And what did you find? Violence, insanity, and a hero. What is a man but a miserable pile of jummy? Welcome in the Borderlands pre-sequel review, Tajerinos. And yes, you guessed it, I'm a talk about fucking Borderlands pre-sequelness. Alright, it's no Borderlands 3, that'll be fucking next. Alright, so what you have here is a stopgap game made by 2K Australia. Supported by Gearbox, it was not a full Gearbox production because they'll be too busy stealing money for other projects and putting it into uh, their own projects, a la Alien Aliens, Colonial, McJobby Marines. That game was a bore of fucking the mistake, assholes, right? Just in case you were fucking confused. Anyway, Borderlands, the pre sequel, is where you go the bad guys. Ooh the bad guys. Ah well, at least I think they're bad guys. Who knows for real? So you you meet up with Jack the Cack on the Hyperion H ship because well it's a big H for Hyperion. That's clever isn't it? And you'll every now and again see it fire into the surface of this bloody moon that you're on. one thing, but there are innocent people on Alpis, you asshole! Yes, there are. Okay, this chick's a nutbag. Looking for this vault. Can can one Borderlands game no revolver in a fucking vault, please? Fucking hell, find that vault. Look for this vault. There's vaults here, there, and fucking everywhere. Oh, that's fucking hilarious, isn't it? No, it's pish. And every time you get to the vault, it either contains a monster or fuck all of value. It's like, oh, here's some money. Finish the game, here's some money. Is that it? I could have done that by farming side missions, you dicks. So I'm just going to assume you've played Borderlands before, so it's a four player co op shooter, dooter, fucking looter, shooter, mooter, fucker, hooker, dooker. Only the main thing in this one is it's set on a moon with like low gravity, so you can bounce around like, like a man on the moon or a woman on the moon. <laughs> Aye, so moving on with this game, it's uh, it's, not, it's quite nice looking, even though it's set on a moon, which is just basically a big rock of deadness with other wee sort of lava pits, and you'll need to watch your air consumption when you're on the fucking surface of the moon, and you'll get like a bubble head that looks like a giant condom that will sh shove itself over your head when you walk out into a, a, a vacuumed area, and there'll be various like, pillars of what look like ice coming out the ground, which is air. Coming right out the surface of the moon, airs, I don't, I don't really, maybe that's a reference to Total Recall, who knows, who cares, I don't fucking care, right, so, actually speaking of dwarves, I really wish there were space dwarves in this, that'd be fucking cracking, remember like the squats, that are fucking Warhammer 40,000, but they killed them all off, because nobody liked them, they got the Tyranids to eat them all, <laughs> I think there's one squat left in the entire universe of, Warhammer 40,000. Everybody else has been munched by the Great Devourer. That's not me, by the way. That's fucking. That's that big fucking slab of jaw baby teeth. Still, nay, no, aye, fuck off. You should probably think about swearing less. I eat my pussy. So, back to Borderlands pre sequel, and. Um, it's just another Borderlands game, really, I'm afraid. 
the main gimmick this time is zero G, and you can do like a a Mario bounce. It's funny. You jump up in the air and hit B, and you'll slam down, and you can kill people with this, and you can fucking knock them flying because it's zero G. So you just go, Ba-doing! it's fucking great, by the way. Padoing into the air where you. Ah, your 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 boss battle's the same. Your big fucking characters larger than a fucking T Rex's shite. And they'll, they'll have like a bubble shield and they'll talk a lot of shit and they'll be like, <laughs> and then you'll kill them and that'll be that really. And then just kind of do that until the game's over, and you'll learn how you know Jack doesn't start off as a psycho. He's he's just a wee programmer on the Hyperion vessel, and then he's like, fuck it, it's mine now. So, there you go. It's like, just literally like that. Fuck it, mine. You're a wank. Apparently the Hyperion H-bomb fucking ship uses the Eye of the Destroyer for the first game as its weapon source. How come that destroyer didn't use that weapon in me when I was fighting it? Or did it? And it was just shite? I don't know. Don't get it. Anyway, enjoy yourself on the surface of the moon on one of Pandora's moons and then... We'll talk about Borderlands 3 and then we'll be done with them for the time being until Tithead Tina's fucking trailer bash jobby shite fucking circus shows up in town. Can he wait? Pure fucking... I can't wait. Oh, there's very much less DLC in this one. There's only a couple of DLC packs. Maybe I'll talk about them, maybe I won't. See if I can be arsed, right? If I can be arsed, then I'll do it. See if I can, I won't. It's quite fucking... But yeah, that's the revelation you never thought. Well, you can go clap trap on this one, I know. But he's like a death version of clap trap or something, or an attack version or an assassin version. You can just go clap trap. I should have went to him, but I went to Athena for some fucking reason. When I mean, her um, ability is to, you know, pull up a shield and then you can fling it at them like fucking Xena Warrior Princess. That's actually quite satisfying, especially when they're low on health. And you go, phew, boing, and then you fucking bounce them. It's quite, it's quite sexy. I like it. I like the guns as well so far. It's just me and Borderlands. There's, there's a dune buggy as well you get, which has got either a laser gun, which I don't recommend, or you can use the rocket launcher ability, which I do recommend. And there's Cthulhu-like enemies as well, like Shigarath, I think they're called. The Shigarath of name Tuntharawa. Katagan, Flagon, Cthulhu, Yajobi. Or some pish like that. The whole point of the Star Wars fucking language is it's unpronounceable to humans, so that's why it's so weird looking. Kinda, well, it makes more sense than Russian, put it that way. I can at least fucking read this. It doesn't he have an X backwards R and fucking upside down Y's? Oh, why, this is also part of the fucking Anthem collection. I still think they should have just put all fucking three of these games. When I say three, Borderlands 1, 2, and this, and the one fucking thing, but no, we want it as part of the Handsome collection because there's a guy called Handsome Jack in it. I believe it. Anyway, it's now medication time. Good night. Dead lift, Tom!